Hey y'all, hey. Car chat. I did not get up this morning to go to Target. My legs hurt. I worked out so much yesterday, even though it was an hour, it was a lot. So I am extremely sore this morning. to go to Zuma, Zumba class this evening but right now I'm headed to help a friend girl shoot a promo for an event that she's having and then I have one client and uh, that's about pretty much it I wanted to talk to you guys about you gotta be okay with starting over you gotta be okay with um, re reinventing yourself don't let you know your own expectation of where you thought you would be or who you thought you would be with stop you from dreaming stop you from showing up i mean like listen even if you can only show up for yourself at 10 percent this time still show up and eventually you'll be able to show up in your fullness eventually you'll be able to show up in your greater i just rem was reminded to speak up a little louder i hope you guys can hear me because i ain't got no mic yet I don't have a mic yet and I am still videoing with my phone I want that little vlog camera that people are holding I ain't got that yet either but nevertheless we gotta stop making excuses to stay stuck we have to stop making excuses to ride the wave of negativity we have to stop making excuses of not having enough. When you don't have what you what you desire, what you want, what you thought you would have, what you thought life was gonna be, you gotta slap yourself, pat your butt, and tell your tail to get up. Whoop your own tail and say, Good night, enough of this is already enough already. I'm, enough already. Enough of the woe is me, enough is the pity party, enough of I don't have enough, enough. And try to find a way to move into better. I mean, I, listen, I've started over in, in my salon, added facials, added massages, added makeup, and it is still not... It is still not um, meeting my needs. It is still uh, not enough. I am still robbing Peter to pay Paul. These days when you go to Paul, Paul be like, I lent all my money to, to John. And John say, uh, I can't do no more because Mark ain't paying me back. Y'all get it? And Luke is just like, I ain't lending y'all my money. You know, I work hard. I do surgery. You know, he a physician. So he ain't, he ain't lending his money. So what am I saying? You can't rely on people to keep bailing you out, Angela. You can't rely on people to constantly give if you're not willing to do more. I'm trying to get another job. I don't know how I'm going to do it because we only have one car. Uh, uh, I have to be available to take my mom to the doctor. And we share rides. But nevertheless, I'm going to do what I got to do. And you got to get up and do what you got to do. You got to do. 
I mean, like, if you want change, if you want more, if you're content, then that's fine. But if you know that you was called to more, you was called to greater, then find a way, find a way to make a way. So, yeah, I'm not going to target this, this vlog. I'm going to look how I switch. I just find a way and do uh, and to do 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 better. I never pause. I never pause and say I'm changing the um, the um, conversation. I am a fast talker, and I didn't realize how fast I talk until I started rewatching my vlogs. I didn't realize how I am one that never completes a sentence. I go into another sentence before I finish the last sentence. So y'all, y'all put up with that too. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with my ebonics, my um, improper grammar. Thank you. Uh, it is who I am. I make no bars about it. I don't pretend to be anything that I'm not. And uh, this, this, I don't know if you guys know that I live by be true to you. I live by being real with yourself. That if you're real with yourself, one, you, you, you're not black man material. Two, uh, when you're real, you're able to um, own up to those things that need to be owned up to, those things that need to be changed. You're willing to do the work to change it. Uh, and those things that you can't, you just, you sit in it. And then, not only that, by being true to who you are, you don't be so concerned. I mean, it bothers you because we're human. But you don't be to the, so concerned that you're worried about what people say about you because you already know the truth. And um, when they're saying the truth, it don't bother you because it's the truth. And when it's not the truth, it don't bother you because you know who you are. And so... I telling you guys that I don't know but anyway this this my life has always been about being true to who I am my life is all about not pretending to be something and someone that I'm not now I've always been that kind of person listen when uh, my mom used to ask me did I do something wrong usually at first I would say no I didn't but if she keep badgering me she keep coming I'm gonna tell you the truth I just can't, I don't believe in all that lying and making up stuff and making stuff. It is what it is. And so, I, without telling you about the drive-by therapy, a lot of people say they wish they was not silent. They will stop being silent when they come down to situation or issues or things they've done, uh, uh, things they're experiencing things they have to go um, through, the things that they're indulging in life. And I, I don't have that same testimony. I don't. I don't have that. Uh, I wish I wasn't silent. Sometimes I wish I just shut up. I wish I didn't talk so much. I wish I wasn't so honest. I wish I wasn't so transparent. But at the same time, I don't know how not to be. Because in that um, I don't have that battle of what if somebody knew. I don't have that battle of what if somebody find out. I don't have that battle, that weight of shame um, covering me, hovering over me, that fear of being found out. I don't have that. You know, child, when I live um, the same sex relationship, I told that. Um, when I got uh, arrested, I shared that. Um, when we lost, um, money i share that when i struggle i share that i share i think i shared a little bit too much i could girl angela shut your mouth shut up sometimes quit talking so god doggone much is what i need to be saying i say that to say even in that i am not bound i am free and there's absolutely nothing about nothing better than being free nothing better than being able to hold your head up in any room because you know who you are and you're okay with who you are there's nothing like not worrying about what people are going to see say 
about what you've done because shoot you be don't say it to yourself i know i do I, I tell everything i don't care judge me nine times out of ten i find i feel i, I don't know because i don't know everybody i feel like because i'm so truthful um people shy away from me they feel like i'm gonna tell their stories but there's a lot of stories out there that i know that i don't tell it's a lot of stories out there that i know and i don't tell and i won't tell why because it's not my story to tell it is not my story to tell and not only that everybody needs someone they can confine in everybody needs someone they can trust i know you can trust in jesus i know the words say put your trust in no man but even in that even in that he means for us to have a confidant besides himself even in that uh, he know that we need someone that looks like us to talk to and i know they're gonna tell you that you don't need nobody as long as i got king jesus i don't need nobody else i've been lied on who talked about who mistreated who yeah we all need somebody we all need somebody we all need somebody Jesus had 12 disciples and them 12 disciples we got more disciples and so in this journey in this journey you need somebody and in this journey you don't want to share this load called life alone whether you're married whether you're single you still want a companion you still want a friend you still want someone that's trustworthy, someone to bounce ideas off, someone to help, you know, someone to make life a little easier. And it's not all always, always about a romantic relationship. Sometimes you just need someone to be in your corner. No, all the time you need somebody to be in your corner. It may not be the someone that you expected, but it's someone there for you. Anyway, I am headed to where well, I'm here. I'm here to do the promo. Uh, and that is going to probably be it. Oh, I'm going to take you guys to Zumba with me. Now, whether or not they would like me, let me film, I don't know. But we're going. We're going. Hoping this, um, this here clip come out fine because... Today is my son, Kenneth, my oldest son's birthday. He is 35. He is my firstborn. He is my chosen one. He is my blessed seed. Um, his birthday. And so the family keep texting. And so sometimes when you text, it calls the foul to be um, a glitch, dysfunctional. I don't know the word my husband say. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this is not the case. I hope you guys can hear me. And uh, I'm going to get a mic. But I don't know when I'm going to get a mic. Now, if you need me to hurry up and get a mic, cash out me, buy it and send it to me. Uh, and and I, I, I ain't being funny. I'm, I'm saying like for real though. Because I am going out of town uh, this weekend. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Y'all already know I ain't going nowhere but Atlanta. Why? To keep that granddaughter of mine. And so, if I go out of town on the weekend, I don't work. So, y'all already know the rest. I ain't going to keep saying it. But anyway, let me get my buddy here because I realize I like to talk. And not to mention, honey, now that I got this here phone holder, I can talk and drive. I can talk my whole ride. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I'll be back. But why I'm gone, keep your head up. Okay? Why, while you just waiting on me to pop up on your YouTube channel or screen, uh, keep your head up. Have hope in Christ Jesus. And uh, don't allow shame to weigh you down, overtake you, stop you, make you feel stuck or even unwanted or unsure of who you are. Y'all heard my sermon in church? Y'all heard my sermon? I'm lying. It wasn't even a sermon. I was just supposed to open up service and I ended up doing a little encouragement because it is in me. And whatever 
I give out to the people, it is something that I had to endure first. And so, and don't be talking about how small our church is, because it is small. It is small. It is hard to get people to come to church um, after the pandemic, unless you're a mega church. But that's another story. That's another conversation for another day at a later time. But um, be encouraged. Be encouraged. There we have it. Two hours and 15 minutes later, I am finished. Did her makeup as well as recorded for her. And her brunch is going to be, I think it's gonna be really nice. She's expecting 500 um, women. So I think it's going to be, I take it back, women and men. So should be really, really um, interesting. It's about you're the one. You're the one in your family. You're the one in your community. You're the one in the city. You're the one in the generation that can shift and make a difference for everyone. You're the one that can break the generation curse. You're the one that can stop the abuse. You're the one that can uh, gain wealth. You're the one that can take your family and everybody else to the next level. So I like that because it's about everybody helping one another. Each one reach one, each one teach one. Go Joseph or Benjamin. Uh, I did her makeup. There's a lot of things we did not have, but there's a lot of things she did have. And she got uh, a nice um, products. She love uh, NARS and Fenty. So kudos to her for the right products. That is about it, y'all. I'm going home to eat. And um, I got something to tell you guys, but I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to wait until the sometime next month to tell y'all. Y'all still haven't told me what you guys want us to be called, this community, our family, you know, our YouTube community, our YouTube family. I still want to address you guys uh, besides, hey, hey, y'all. And so I'm still waiting on that. And uh, yeah. Okay, I'm here and ready. I am here and ready for Zumba. Let's see. It's not that many people in here and there is no instructor yet, but let's see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Do you see this wet? Do you see?
this sweat on me? Oh my God. Do you see the sweat? Woo, that's all I gotta say. I know where I'll be next Tuesday. The instructor was great. She don't speak that much English, but she was good at what she did. She kept you hype. I'm tired. She kept you hype. She was good at what she did. And I'm going to repeat. I know where I'll be next Tuesday if they have it. Their classes are every Tuesday from 7 to 8. And it was a great workout. And I have been saying I wanted to go to a Zumba class forever. And so uh, I have no excuse. It did... Um, had to keep my mind the idea that I was standing there for an hour, like after 30 minutes I was done, but I was like, no, stick it out, stick it out. Um, consistency, discipline that, you know, like I, oh, I had enough of this because I had on sweated and all that. And, but you sign up for something, stick it out, Angela. And so I stuck it out, I stuck out the class I asked for it and on my way here I was like God I had been saying I wanted to attend a Zumba class and here it is a part of the membership so I have absolutely no excuses no excuses sometimes we let ourselves out of something whether it be difficult whether it just be something that we're not comfortable with or whether it's something just different and sometimes we don't want to endure a change so stick it out have you tried Zumba if you have how do you feel bad about it do you like it you know some of the moves I'm like okay God it can be a little sexual but it's all about where you take your mind it was just parts of the routine that cause you to move your body so you can move your muscles and uh, move your waist and so I really want to get this waist down so um, I hope it don't offend any of you if it do sorry not sorry because I gotta do what I gotta do but really I mean not to offend anyone I really don't but no matter what you do somebody always have something to say and so do you be true to you and yeah take care of you